What's up guys and welcome back to another video. You joined me uh, at my house right here. We've done a little bit of a setup because uh, it's been a while since I haven't spoken about uh, 4GT. My 4GT, which is on order, I made, I think I've only made one video about this, just kind of announcing the fact that I was fortunate enough to have been selected uh, for a 4GT to be given the opportunity to buy a 4GT 2022 model year. Um, so I confirmed the car, it's uh, going to be on its way and I thought I would make a little video updating because I got an email from the 4GT concierge it's called um, from Ford Performance and they're kind of the guys who take care of you and walk you through the different steps and I thought I would just share this email with you there is one part which they say is confidential so I'm not going to show it just for legal reasons and then we're going to look at a video actually which is going to be pretty interesting but let's get right into it the last update um, that I actually had is I got a call from someone at the Ford GT concierge service um, who was letting me know. So my car um, was meant to arrive end of 2021. In the end, I got a call after the COVID lockdown to say that there were delays and that my car would realistically um, be arriving in April 2022. However, uh, there would maybe be potential to kind of move my slot forward a little bit. And would I be interested? Uh, to which I said yes, although like tw 2022 kind of suits me quite well. Uh, just financially being able to to kind of you know push it off a little bit further and save up for a little bit longer um, that kind of suits me quite well so I I might look at different slot options if there are some consider it but I'm quite happy with mine arriving in early 2022 even though that's a long time away now I said model year 2022 actually at the beginning of this video and uh, it's 2021 and 2022 model years and the reason I say that is so we can go through this last email that I got we're gonna read it together I've only read through this once and we're actually gonna make a decision uh, and, and go through this uh, together but Dear Mr. Delaney, hello. As the Ford GT program team plans the final two years of production, we are proud to present you with multiple vehicle options, each variant having a unique identity and a little bit identity. We are reaching out to give you the opportunity to tell us your vehicle specification and build timing preferences so they can be considered in the production schedule process. For your preferences to be eligible for consideration, your feedback must be submitted by August 28th. What's the date today? Oh, we're close, three days away. To begin the submission process, click the Choose Preferences button at the end of this note, okay? To help you make your selections, below is a summary of the options planned for 2021 and 2022 model year. Now then, let's go through this. Option number one, Custom Series. The most customizable version of the Ford GT, allowing for a high level of personalization. Seven standard exterior, and stripe color options plus optional extended color palette. Okay, can we just point out here, very nice to give us the options. The elephant in the room, there's no pricing. <laughs> so I need to select, but there is absolutely, maybe there is when we get further on in this whole process, but right now there is no pricing. Anyways, five different wheel, caliper, and interior theme options. Multiple standalone options, IG titanium lug nuts. Carbon series. Option two. So that sounds pretty good. That basically just sounds like you can cust, you know, the, the, yeah, there's a few more options, but it kind of just sounds like a normal spec, but you can go a little bit further with your spec is the impression I kind of get from that. Carbon series. This sounds lovely, but very expensive. How expensive? I have no idea. No clue how expensive that's going to be. Okay. Carbon series, the lightest car in the Ford GT lineup with weight saving actions, including standard carbon fiber wheels. That's very cool. Somebody is calling me. So we've got carbon fiber wheels, titanium lug nuts, and a polycarbonate rear hatch. How much those things cost? I have no clue, but they sound lovely. Cup holders and driver's storage bin are removed from the unique Alcantara interior to further reduce weight. Okay, I mean, that's that, I guess. By the way, can we just say, I feel like a little kid reading through this. It's like something out of a movie custom series, carbon series, and choosing the spec. Like, I've only ever bought one new car, which was through Lotus and the Lotus ex exclusive program, which was awesome. But um, it's not like it was such a long, you know, it didn't last years, basically, the process. And there weren't these different series and stuff. This is awesome, like, going through this. So Ford Performance and Concierge Service, you guys have nailed it. Standard exposed carbon fiber, dual stripes, and lower body panels plus optional exposed A-pillars. Okay, 
So the stripes, you can have an exposed carbon fiber basically, and the A pillars as well, which must look pretty badass. Optional accent package offers four color choices coordinating the mirror caps, center stripe, and calipers. Very cool. Six standard exterior color options, plus optional extended color palette. Hmm, okay, so you kind of get, okay, so it sounds similar-ish to the custom series, just basically lighter, and carbon all over the place and presumably more expensive. Now this is what really interests me, Heritage Edition. A celebration of historic GT40 race cars with a modern design interpretation of the iconic race livery. Details of the 2021 and 2022 Heritage models to be released at a later date. Now, um, they've, there are a bunch of different Heritage Editions and they're really cool and kind of iconic and they go with the history of the Ford GT. So this actually really tempts me um, because I just think that the 4GT has such a huge amount of history, obviously with Le Mans, recently with the Le Mans 66 film coming out. Um, and there's something about the Heritage Edition that's quite cool. Under this, there is a photo. However, there's written pictured as a 2021 Heritage Edition, confidential image, do not disturb. So annoyingly, we're gonna have to blur that out. However, this email came in a little while ago, but not too long ago. So we're gonna watch a video where they basically release this image. But because it's written there, I'm not gonna put it in my video, but we basically know what it anyways it doesn't really make much sense hey ho studio collection a new low production edition to be introduced in 2021 model year will feature unique and modern exterior graphics with color customization options details to be released at a later date so not much information but there is a color here and there's not written that it's confidential so hopefully fingers crossed we can show that but it's a blue car and it looks like basically this is gold stripes, actually similar to what I had on uh, my Lotus. But it means you can have like little liveries and stuff like that, which is quite cool. So I must submit this before the 28th. Basically, they're saying the results of this inquiry and your ordering window timing will be communicated via email by the 25th of September. So I'll have news. OK, so those are the options. Custom series, carbon series, heritage edition and studio collection. So guys, I'm just thinking, I really wanna watch this video with you, and this is gonna become a ridiculously long video, and I'm really interested in hearing your opinions. So if you can, at this point, what would be great is if you could pause the video and put down below which one, the studio edition, uh, the heritage edition, the carbon series, the custom series, which one of those four options would you go for? And I'm gonna read through all your comments down below, and that will, you know, obviously I will make my own decision, but I'm really intrigued to see what you guys think. Um, and I'm sure you'll have some really valid uh, points about it and constructive criticism and things like that. And then what I'll do is this video goes out tomorrow, which will be the 26th. So on the 27th, we'll be able to then film this video of me um, choosing my preferences and doing my spec. So the next video that will come out after this is me doing my spec for my Ford GT and then hopefully getting it. But in the meantime, a video has come out that I was communicated, which is introducing the 2021 Ford GT Heritage Edition. This is a video which was uploaded by Ford Performance, so it is legit, and it shows the Heritage Edition. So I'm gonna whack these bad boys on, and we're gonna watch this together. Because this is gonna give us the story of the Heritage Edition, and also we're gonna see what it looks like. So I think it will affect the decision. An inkling of the morning sun at the twice around the clock marathon enters the final daylight hour. Now it's upon them racing for the flag. Special note, I hope I'm allowed to show this video, by the way. Ford, I'm terribly sorry if I'm not. Uh, but very cool. So they're gonna give us I think they're gonna give us the story behind this particular car. In the 24 hour Daytona Continental. But it's the mild ruby prototype board which has the crowd of gas as it shows bullet like acceleration off the banking along the back stretch. What a dominant performance. The Ford Mark II will sweep the podium and set a new lap record. Okay, okay, so they're clearly setting the scene here that this particular car was incredibly quick and had an incredible history and kind of heritage and won. Uh, here at Daytona with Ken Miles driving. And if you've watched Le Mans 66, you know Ken Miles was a, you know, such an essential part in developing uh, the car and a fantastic driver. So very, 
That's a good start for the 2021 Heritage Edition. Ken Miles and Lloyd Ruby take the checker. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How sick does this look? That angle right there. Oh, that is so cool. Number 98. Can you change the number or, or will all Heritage Editions be number 98? That I don't know. If anyone knows, can you answer in the, in the comments? And also how many will be made? That I don't know either. Interesting. Very cool. So wait, on this screenshot, we have a black hood with an orange front half, white base, 98 on the side, it looks like kind of gold wheels, black wing. This is a very particular spec, but for some reason, I think it works. Oh. Ooh, okay. Slow-mo on the, so we've got red, or oh, those orange calipers, and gold wheels. This is particular carbon up front, the splitter. You can see this carbon. Oh, 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 wait, let me go back and play that again. There is number 98 and orange under the, the active wing. So when that comes up, you see that that's very cool. This thing looks insane. Okay, so here it is, Ford GT Heritage. So there's the original car. And oh, so it's, is it white or silver, the base? I can't tell. I think it might be silver. I'd actually prefer it if it was silver, to be honest. That looks super cool next to the old one. Pretty legit. Right, well, um, that is the Heritage Edition, uh, which uh, the video goes on for quite a lot longer. And there's, you know, much more of the story behind this one. So if you, if you are interested in that, I'll put the link in the description down below. But that is the Heritage Edition. So, blah, this is so, I, I quite like the Heritage. I, having seen that, that really works for me. That's done it for me. So I don't know. Uh, but then the carbon is so cool and being able to do your own spec with your own color and wheels and mm, it's so hard because this isn't really the kind of car you then like go wrap. This is the kind of car you get PPF and then keep it in its original spec. This is a very, anyways, as I said, I've decided on the spot that I, I, I'm really intrigued to see your opinions. So there's an update on what's happening with my Ford GT. Uh, I hope you feel like that my aim with this is to bring you completely along on the experience of what it's like to order one of these cars. As I've always said, this is a dream, complete dream come true. And uh, I'm excited, you know, and then this, just this process is really good fun. So uh, I hope you guys can kind of live through it a bit through these videos and through me. And um, yeah, I'm super yeah pumped to now be able to hopefully apply and hopefully get um, the series that, uh, that we're looking for. So yeah, very, very cool stuff. I'm going to end this video here. I'm super excited to put this up online and read through the comments. So comment down below and uh, next video we'll be doing the spec. So cheers guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.